Hey, what's happening, YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I know I'm having a great day. I had a good morning, and I hope everyone, all my new subscribers, are having a fantastic day as well. Uh, I do have a couple shout outs here. I wrote them down. Um, I, I, I got quite a few new subscribers, and I appreciate you all. Uh, first shout out goes to SJ uh, Lofty uh, Eaton. If I pronounce anyone's name wrong, it's definitely uh, unintentional. Uh, this person made a comment on a Valisneria, um video that I had done. And a new subscriber, uh, Le Langan and Animals. Uh, this person is also a YouTuber, and she uh, followed my channel. Um, anyone else I miss, it's just because I don't always get... Uh, sometimes I'll get an email when I get... A new subscriber but for the most part if you know if you don't say anything in any of the videos that I create uh, there's a good chance I might miss you otherwise I I would like to personally thank anyone who uh, joins my channel so today we're doing something a little bit different and if you watch to the end I'm going to give you a pro tip about Valisneria it's a tip that most people aren't aware of and um, they kill their Valisneria all the time by doing these things so at the end of this we'll talk about that but first Today what I'm going to talk about is I'd like to talk to all of my subscribers, what you would like to talk about in my next video. Now, these are all videos that I already have in progress, but, you know, depending on what your request is, I'll do them in that order. So I've got five things, um, and, you know, if I could do a, a poll, I would have done that to make it easier for everyone, but... Apparently, you have to have a thousand subscribers to do polls, and I'm, you know, nowhere near that. So, anyway, so we're going to do it this way. So, I have five things for my next video that I will be doing Friday. And uh, whichever one gets the most votes or comments on, that's what we'll do first. So, the first one will be a video to a trip to go see uh, Joe, who was a, um, a, a judge at the Florida Aqua Shell event that just happened. Uh, he is a shrimp breeder, and he has lots of shrimp. So I'm going to go on a road trip, and uh, we'll go check out all of his shrimp that he breeds and check out all the hundreds of different types of caridinas and neocaridinas he's got. Uh, two, I'll do a video on uh, my five top best uh, stocking animals for planted aquariums because it is important what kind of uh, fish or shrimp or whatever you choose for a plant it takes because some animals will destroy your uh, plant. So my five best stocking tips for planted aquariums or three, uh, my five top best plants from Petco. Now I've done PetSmart, but I haven't done Petco yet, but I, I do have uh, quite a few that are near bulletproof plants uh, that you can get from Petco. And or four, uh, some of you have been following and have actually purchased these plants. Uh, four will be how to properly propagate uh, cardinal plants, uh, which are a foreground plant you can buy at PetSmart. I've now got a lot that are ready to be propagated. And then also, or five, we will do uh, propagation on repens. And yes, anytime I, I do plants or we speak about propagation, I actually, you know, cut the plant, pull it out right in front of you and show you exactly how it's done. Because I know reading about it, is one thing, but when somebody actually shows you, it's much more beneficial that way. So whichever one of these, you know, gets the highest amount of votes or, you know, or anyone who even just says hi, I'll, you know, if they're the only one who says something, the next video will be what they want. So anyway, so those are what's out there. Now for the tip that I've got today, I'm going to go show you. Uh, this has to do with Valisneria, and I know quite a few of you of my followers have been buying Valisneria, and we're going to talk about that for a second. All right, so this is my uh, uh, jungle scape. It's not done yet, but as you can see, I have been, um, I mean, it is loaded. It's loaded with uh, spiral val. It's loaded with jungle Valisneria. It's loaded with just regular Valisneria. Um, but it also has um, some cardinals in here. I, I'm waiting on these to get to the propagation stage. They take so long to get to that point. I have a video on how to plant them, but I've been waiting for them to get to the propagation so I could actually show uh, 
you know. Anyway, so the tip on uh, Valisneria that not very many people are aware of, and they kill it and have no idea what they've done wrong that causes their Valisneria to um, to die. Um, although it's considered an easy plant, there's one of three things that you can do unbeknownst to you, thinking you're doing a good thing, and you've destroyed the plant and would have no idea why that is. So what it is, it's their products. Valisneria and other runner plants like Dwarf Chainsword um, and Sagittaria, they, they do not like liquid fertilizers. There are a few in particular that will absolutely kill your your Valisneria. Uh, one is Floricetum Excel. You put that in your tank, you're going to kill Valisneria. And I'm going to explain why here in a second. The second is um, Algae Destroyer, that liquid stuff that you put in your tank to kill algae. That will kill all of your runner plants, all your uh, uh, and most certainly your Valisneria. And number three is liquid CO2. You put any liquid CO2, say goodbye to all of your beautiful jungle val or spiral val or whatever kind of Valisneria you've bought or dwarf chain sword, etc. It's going to kill it. And I'm going to explain why. And I have tested this uh, myself, not in this tank. I put it in another one and be sure it was a, a real deal. Uh, so, liquid CO2 is not literally CO2. It's essentially another name for a, a algae destroyer. Um, you know, so what those products are for are to target um, algae or fast growing nuisance plants and to kill them. Um, and because of how quickly Valisneria grows and propagates, It'll actually target that plant as well and completely kill it. And there's no coming back. Once you put it in your tank, it's curtains. And um, and for whatever reason, Seachum Floris Excel. Well, it's not for for whatever reason. It it uh it has a little bit of everything in there. So you'll see a lot of nutrients in there, but it does also have a little bit of uh, uh, liquid CO2 added in there. Anyway, any of that stuff that's meant to uh, target um, algae will also target fast-growing plants. Uh, so keep that in mind. You know, these are root feeders. They do not need liquid fertilizers. Um, a lot of plants don't. I mean, really, the only plants that would need liquid fertilizer is if, if, is if you're using a gravel substrate and you've got nothing but a bunch of rhizome plants, then it'll be okay to use it. And that brings me to one other thing. If you would like to discuss what fertilizers, liquid fertilizers, I I prefer, if you're going to use them no matter what, I have used them all. I've used Seachum. I've used Aquarium Co-op. I've used uh, Fluval. I've used Thrive. I'll pull them all out in front of you and talk about the pros and cons. And, ooh, look at that. Look at that oxygen stream coming off of there. Yes, I do low-tech tanks. I do not do CO2. It's not needed. And plus, you don't need explosive growth. Take your time in this hobby. Let things go at their own pace. There's no reason to speed stuff up. But anyway, I do appreciate uh, everyone's attention today and watching the video. Um, and like I said, leave a comment below as to what topic you would like me to cover in my next video that I will be doing um, this Friday. And uh, we'll go from there. I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.